do you think um, being an open lesbian hurts you in, in Hollywood? Like they just want to give you- Not as long as you switch it up. Do you think so? You, yeah, as long as you switch it up. It's, like Hollywood, it don't have nothing to do with my sexual preference. What I do in, in my bedroom behind closed doors is my personal business. You know, it ain't got nothing to do with Hollywood as long as I could deliver, you know, yeah, give me the job. Now you said that the last time you wore a dress, you were fifth grade, in the fifth graduate. grade. And I remember reading this too, by yeah. the way. I read it's your in book. My book. Grace I read it midnight, years, years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was such a good book. I was so impressed. Um, and you talked about that. Mm -hmm. When did you realize that you, you know, you were gay? Uh, my uncle, my uncle, Arnold, he had took me, because everybody was calling me when I was growing up back in the 90s. The favorite word was for um, lesbians or a, a, a gay girl like me is a uh, bull dagger. And I used to be like, what the hell is a bull dagger? And he was like, oh, you gay. So I'm like, nah. I ain't paying no mind, I didn't care what they were saying. You know, I still kept being myself, myself. So my uncle came to me, cause he had a, a lesbian um, um, friend. And he was like, man, she wanna teach you the ropes. I went on over there. She went and bought me, I can say this on her. She went and, um, she with me, she went to the nasty store, went and bought me a dick and all that, you know what I mean? Taught me how to strap it on, I fucked her. And it was <laughs> it was all the pop, and I I was what I was I was twelve and a half, thirteen. I went to prison when I was fourteen and a half, going on fifteen. Yeah, I mean I started early, but yeah. Were you scared? I mean, being a twelve. I was looking at my uncle like he done lost his marbles, like because he just he never told me. He called me that day, and he never told me. Um, he just said I was coming to pick you up. He never told me until I got in a car what this was all about. And he was like, I know you gay. And you know, I got somebody, if you really gay, she wanna show you the ropes. And you know, she was much older than me. I think she was like 18. Yeah, child molester. <laughs> I was, <laughs> So, but, go ahead. But that was, I mean, that was it. And I was looking at him. But I ain't want to, you know, once I got there, I told her, I said, I'm not eating pussy because I don't eat pussy. And I'm not eating pussy back. That was young. So back then, you know, we growing up, eating pussy was a bad thing. You young, nah, I'm not doing that. Oh, you nasty. Do not drink behind me. Do not eat behind me. <laughs> Nothing. Things like that till you get older. But she was like, no, no, no. I just want to show you because you're aggressive. I just want to show you how to um, put this on, and yeah. And she, I mean, showed me yeah how to stroke her. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Uh, you're a professional stroker I'm a now. Professional. <laughs> how many women ha can can you say you you turned out since? I slayed this dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sight, baby. Uh, my girl probably like. Yeah. So, I, yeah. <laughs> so you, how many women have you pretty much have you turned out I'm women drunk, because of it? Yeah. Is it, how many would you say? Uh, I part two. Grace at the midnight. Part two. That that's going in there. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that one. That'll be really. <laughs> so, uh, what do you categorize yourself as a lesbian now? You said bull. I don't bulldog. No bull dagger. Bull they dagger. Say, yeah, they so, used to say that's a that's an old school slang. Like try to describe a gay person like a butch or something like that. So would you call yourself? Uh, no, nah, I call myself Felicia. Mm. Snoo. That's what's up. No, I just love women. Yeah. What kind yeah. of women are you attracted to? Girly girls like yourself, but I have a woman. <laughs> How long were you? <laughs> How long were you with her for? Uh, it's going on a year. Yeah? Yeah. So, can you say you can see yourself marrying her? Yes, um, actually, uh, uh, she's ready, I'm ready to take the seed out of me, put it in her, she's ready to carry my baby, so. Oh, so, yeah. what's that process gonna be like? Uh, we ready to see, we ready to see. Yeah? How, yeah. how many kids do you want? I just want two. So you're trying hopefully to do one shot? Get, yeah, hopefully we get twins, and God bless us with a girl and a boy. 
You know, I just want to see what little Fifi, little Snoop want to look like, you know? Because I'm not having no kids. I ain't with none of that. Yeah. So she's okay. Uh, you guys agree that yeah, she's going to be the carrier? Yeah, and if she do that, most definitely. I'm putting the biggest rock on her finger. Yes. What's the wedding going to be like? Uh, I just want, you know, who, well, when me and her get married, I just want our wedding. Just I just want a beach. I mean, not even a beach, an ocean or something behind us. You know, nice sand, nice water. That's all I want. I don't care about no color, who going to be there, or whatever. It's just me and her, if it is. But, you know, the people going to come out, though. Family. So how did you guys meet? Uh, when I actually went back to um, Chicago. And um, I was just out there with family and friends. And, you know, old school wave. I, I ran into her before, but it wasn't really nothing, you know? And, well, by the way, she's straight. I turned her out to ask you a question. So, but, um, what old fashioned way, you know? Yeah, that's nice. Um, so you, you pretty much were the aggressive? Most definitely. <laughs> what was the pickup line? Dang, where you been at all night? <laughs> <laughs> It was a wrap up to that. <laughs> yeah, she left all the all her men. Yeah, that's yeah. What came over here to King Dangling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I love the joke. Have fun, man. I understand that mindset because I like have that like because you don't believe in somebody so much you just joke on them. Like I'm gonna joke on you. I don't believe you. Mm -hmm. So I understand it, but you know, I want hip hop. Period. Like. Yeah. to stop the shenanigans with that type of shit like yo motherfucker rap go rap my monthly uh overhead for my household and employee just household employees was somewhere in the neighborhood of like a million dollars a month i was spending 